What's going on people? Keith Moore Jr. here and today I'm going to be telling you all how I got six pack abs in six weeks. But before I get started, I need everyone to hit that like button. That helps get this video out to more people, which in turn will help my channel to grow. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. So let's hop right into it. I have been intermittent fasting now for six weeks and one day. So that's full transparency for you all. I could have just said I've been intermittent fasting for six weeks, but we're going to be exact here. Six weeks and one day. Now, I started this journey at 188.9 pounds. And as of this morning, I am down 18 or 19 pounds. And that's in six weeks and one day. So safe to say that intermittent fasting does work. Now I'm going to tell you all exactly what I do during, uh, during the week and on the weekends while intermittent fasting to ensure that I continue to make progress and I'm going in the right direction. So during the week, Monday through Friday, for those of you all who may not know, I have a uh, 18 hour fast and then I also do a six hour eating window. So my eating window, um, it just, I like to start it at 1 p.m., but it depends on what I have going on at work that day. So I usually have my first, I usually break my fast between 1 and 2.30 p.m. So when I break my fast, I like to have something light. Uh, so I'll do something like a protein shake. And if you all want to see a full day of eating, I will link that video at the end of this one so you all can see what a full day of eating is like for me. And I go into detail on why I will break my fast with something light, like a protein shake. So shortly after my protein shake, I will go into having my first real big meal. It's not even, I don't even consider it a big meal, but my real meal, my first real meal of the day. And that will be a protein source like salmon, um, grilled chicken or shrimp. And then I'll do like jasmine rice and black beans. And then after that, by the time I get home, my fasting, well, my eating window will almost be over. So I'll have one more meal and that meal will typically be something like lettuce and uh, steak or chicken with avocado, uh, jasmine rice, and black beans, and I just make a bowl out of that. But it depends on how hungry I, on how hungry I am. Sometimes I may just do like salmon with a salad. So it just all depends. That you know that varies. But what typically stays the same is what I break my fast with, and then what I have for that first real meal of the day so that's during the week then on the weekends um especially on like saturday well depending on what day i have my cheat meal or cheat day on then i'll fast for a longer period of time so i'll do at least a 20 hour fast leading into uh, a cheat meal now if it's going to be a cheat day then i try to do like a 22 hour fast so I like to plan ahead for those type of things because I do not want to let, you know, one day erase all of the progress that I've just made during the week. Now, a lot of people may think, um, you know, 20 hours, that's, that's long for a fasting period. And I agree, you know, but it's, it is something that takes time and you have to get used to it. But also keep in mind, you know, when you're sleeping, that's part of your fasting period as well. And then I do things uh, during my fasting period, like put a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in my water, and I'll drink that during my fasting period. And if you want to know why, why I do that, I will link that video to this one so you can check that out. But 
I'll link it at the end so you all can watch this video all the way through because I am giving some great tips and advice here. All right, so yeah, the week, like I was saying, the weekends, you know, cheap meal, 20 hour fast. And if I'm gonna have a cheap meal, I probably don't have much going on that day. So my wife and I will do something like get sushi. Or we might even say, you know, we have a taste for McDonald's. Um, let's go to McDonald's and you know, we'll do that. But I still keep an eating window on the days where I have a cheat meal or an entire cheat day. That eating window is still in effect. So I typically still like to do a six hour eating window. But if I have something going on that day and it's like a special occasion or something, then I don't mind extending that eating window to eight hours. You know, that, you know, I, if I just fasted for 20 to 22 hours, an eight hour eating window is not going to just ruin everything. But I, you know, I think that's important because a lot of people try to approach a cheat meal and or cheat day and they will just eat until they feel sick because they're trying to eat everything in sight. And please do not do that. Please do not ruin all the progress you made during the week in one day. What I like to do is I like to satisfy my cravings. So if it's something that I've been wanting to have, then I'm going to have it, you know, on the day where I'm having my cheat meal or my cheat day. That's the day for me to have it, but when I'm full, I'm going to stop eating. And then when I'm hungry again, I'm going to satisfy my cravings, but as long as it's within that eating window. So, you know, I think that's very important. Very important. That's one of the main reasons why I have been able to be successful during this uh, intermittent fasting cutting phase of mine. So, that's the first topic that I wanted to talk about uh, with how I have been able to get six pack abs in six weeks. Now, the next topic is cardio. That's something that's been aiding in my fat loss. Now, with my cardio, I have been performing it three to four times per week, 20 to 30 minutes per session. So, I'm not killing myself doing cardio. I'm not doing 45 minutes to an hour. I'm not doing cardio every day. I'm doing, you know, three to four times a week, 20 to 30 minutes per session. And I honestly recently just bumped it up to four times per week. So that hasn't even been going on for very long because I have been able to make such great progress. Now, uh, if you all have seen, have seen my previous videos, I started out doing the jump rope during my cut but shortly after I was doing jump rope, I tried to run outside, got plantar fasciitis really bad. So now I just do the Stairmaster for my cardio uh, because whenever I jump rope, sometimes my foot may get sore. And until I get some new shoes, I need to stop being cheap. Until I get some new shoes, I'll just be doing the Stairmaster for cardio. But once again, it's not anything extreme. It's very reasonable. And then the last topic that I want to talk about is how, how often I train abs. I train abs three times per week and um, I have a playlist for ab workouts that I do. You all can check that playlist out. I will link it to this video. But once again, if you don't know, abs are made in the kitchen. So if I was not, if my diet was not in check, I can do all the ab exercises that I want and I will not have defined six pack abs. So that's very important. Please keep that in mind. And um, you know, with, with my ab workouts, I'm starting to do more weighted ab exercises now to really make those abs start to pop. So yes, I'm not saying don't work your abs because you know, you won't get results if you do. I'm saying that, you know, in order for your abs to show, you need to get rid of that body fat, but you still do need to work your abs in order to get them more defined, in order to build them. And you really, you know, you do still want to have a strong core. 
because that plays an important part in your overall you know fitness level and just performing other exercises in general the core is very important so that is how I got six pack abs in six weeks um, you know intermittent fasting 18 hour fast six hour eating window and then uh, before my cheat day or cheat meals a 20 to 22 hour fast with a six to eight hour eating window and secondly uh, cardio three to four times a week 20 to 30 minutes per session and then last but not least train abs three times per week I hope this video was helpful if you want to try intermittent fasting join me on this journey uh, once again please like this video subscribe to my channel I appreciate the continued support and I'll catch you on the next video peace